Okay. Discussing uh, meter calibration, a couple of people tried to bring up the point, seemingly accurately but rather erroneously, that uh, when you, you calibrate a light meter, uh, that you're only using JPEGs, and JPEGs don't have the dynamic range of the RAW files, and that's certainly true. However, in calibrating um, every specific camera that I currently use to the meter, I was uh, taking JPEGs off of the RAW files, but that is not the point. Um, the variance uh, between either is less than a half a stop for specular clipping points. The JPEGs uh, images will clip at the same point that the, the RAW files will within a, a half a stop. And half a stop is your clipping point anyway, rather than your actual, or spec, your actual specular clipping point. So in setting up a calibration on a professional meter, what you're doing is you're not bringing it absolutely all the way to the tippy top where the speculars are clipped. You actually set it about a half a stop below. So you don't act, it gives you a buffer zone so you don't actually clip. Um, so this calibration is far less about the tonal curves, which actually exist in greater details in the raw file, than about the actual clipping points. And nobody gives a damn about shadow clipping points. I mean, you do, but I mean, you, you can retrieve your shadows. Um, you can't retrieve, in, in many cases, certainly not always, but uh, you can't retrieve those uh, blown highlights. Um, so it's about edge parameters rather than actual atonal volume. So this calibration is to get you in the bucket without actually spilling over. Not to 100% uh, you know, nail the bucket to dead on as far as the raw dynamic range potential or maximum potential of the uh, shot that you took. So yes, obviously the raw files do have more dynamic range, but we're only talking about a half a stop maximum as far as uh, what we're looking at on uh, setting up the clipping points. Because that's all the light meter is about, is setting up the clipping points and you being able to interpret the data quickly and accurately. And uh, most of, uh, about 80% of light meter use is uh, for uh, stroboscopic work anyway. Speed lights and studio strobes and also doing lighting ratios. What percentage of your ambient is to your flash illumination. Uh, checking out your uh, midpoints, saving default values, and uh, giving yourself ratios between like your primary light, your hair light, your background light, giving you the ratios between there. That way you're actually able to very quickly look at the three of them, adjust the power output, and uh, hit the shots instead of, you know, chimping off the back of your damn camera. Because once this is calibrated to your camera, then you can take the shots without even taking a look at the shots, other than for, or for focus, uh, um, verification as uh, so far as the exposure on your camera. Once you get it calibrated and you know what the hell you're doing, you don't, other than checking for autofocus, you don't even need to look at the back of your damn camera. Um, so, a few people brought that up and that is correct, but they've missed the point. So they're both correct, but at the same time, wholly incorrect because that's not what the light meter is there for. So it's 80% about uh, strobe and uh, speed light use. This thing is so much faster than my old Siconic 758 and the 758 is not that old. This is a lot faster and a lot nicer. So, 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 so very glad I got this thing. Anybody that's not familiar with light meters will absolutely pull their hair out because of how uh, complicated it can get. You know, so, it's a very daunting tool if you've not used it before. I'm familiar with 80% of its functions in general light meter use, which I've been using for 20 years now, so it's not daunting to me, but um, it's still a complicated device. So I have fully mastered it now, however, because uh, its settings were uh, so much different being a touch screen and where you need to adjust it as opposed to the 758. Anyway, thanks for watching. I thought I would point that out since that was asked to me by a group of people. Four or five people. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.